We'll guide you through how to make your Nvidia graphics card your default card in Windows 11. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So you may find that some games seem to be using your CPU's internal graphics, which isn't ideal because you've got this specific GPU which you want to be using, which you can get high performance on. So there's a setting we can go and change. So all you need to do is come to the bottom of your computer, click on the Windows Start button and open your settings or search for them if you can't see them. In here, then head over to the left and go and press on System. Next, click on Display and then you want to scroll down to the bottom until you see Related Settings and go and press on Graphics. Now you want to find the app which you want to go and change the default card for. And if you can't see it, you can actually go and add apps as well. For example, let's say I wanted to add Valorant. All you need to do is click on browse. And then I'd go into my local disk and I'd then go into program files. I'd find Riot Games because they're the one who run it. When you install an application, you may have chose a custom location. So you'll need to go there but mostly by default, they'll go to a local disk and then into your program files or program files x86. So go into here, find the application and then find the .exe file and we can go and add it. In this case, I save mine here and then I can click on Riot Client and then Riot Client Services. I'll press add and there we go, we've now added it. And then to go and change the default card, click the app and then click on options. And then you've got a few different options here. You've got let Windows decide, power saving and high performance. So in my case, I only have one GPU, which is my NVIDIA one. But if you had say an internal um, CPU one as well, that's usually gonna be under power saving and your NVIDIA GPU will be under high performance. So what you want to do is click on high performance uh, because then it's not gonna try and save any power or anything like that. It's gonna optimize for performance, which is what we want. So make sure high performance with your GPU is selected here, then press save and that's it. The next time you run that game or app, it's then gonna be using your preferred and default graphics card. If you found this useful, then please leave a like.